welcome back. Today is Wednesday, 5.57 p.m. It's December 18th, and I leave to go home tomorrow. Put your head on my shoulder. Finals week, I was gonna film, like do a vlog of my finals week, but honestly, it was like way too chaotic to film. I had three finals on, on Monday, so that was nice. And then I had a final on Tuesday, but then it got canceled because of the snow. Then it got pushed to Friday, but I could do it as a take home final instead. So I'm doing that, but I have to pick it up tomorrow. I have a final tomorrow at 12.30 and it's a presentation. So whatever time I finish that is when I'm leaving. But I have a lot of stuff to do. First, we're going to do laundry. I did laundry last week, but I didn't want to bring dirty clothes. So I'm going to do laundry again. I'm going to pack. Then. I have to go to my friend's room because she's going to study abroad in Australia. So me and her other friend are gonna give her a gift. I'm currently putting that gift together right now. But I told her I'd meet her at seven. That's like an hour. I'm gonna go do my laundry, then come back and finish putting this gift together, and then I'll figure out what else to do. So, let's do that. So I just went to go do my laundry. I need to put a towel. She's safe. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I just went down the stairs, that's all I did, and went back up the stairs. Just set a timer for 26 minutes. I had to go put my clothes from the washer to the dryer. Now, I had to go wash dishes because I have a bag of dishes in my bed, under my bed, not in my bed, that would be disgusting. And they've been there for a few days. All right, they've been there for like a week, but they don't smell, and it's not like a lot of food stuck to it. It's like when I eat cereal, and like when I drink out of like cups and stuff. It's like dishes that could like sit in a sink for a few days without being totally disgusting, but I need to wash them because I'm leaving tomorrow and I don't want to leave the dishes in my room for a month. So this is the gift bag that I got my friend that we're going to give her. And it has, that was loud. It has like, well, I already wrapped it, but in here it's like a little face mask, like a lip mask and like a, a lip balm for her. This is so loud. For her to take care of herself is like a mini self-care package for when she leaves next semester. The second gift I will show you is just a picture of the three of us. This is my friend Vanessa. She's leaving to Australia next semester. That's our friend Emily and then that's me. Yeah, so that picture of us so she can remember us when she's in Australia and I'm going to grab that right now. And this is your baby. She's done. All right, and that's that's that. We I kind of wish we got her a card, but it's fine. I just wrote a little note saying to Vanessa from Ananda and Emily, with a little heart. You can't draw, but I do my best. <gasps> I oh no, I have to return my books, all of them. I literally forgot books existed. Like, I have all my freaking books up there. Wow. So I have like 3,000 books to put away, so that's that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna have to run down to the lounge, print out a label, then put the book that's due in the box, tape it up. I don't have packing tape. Oh my God. So I'm gonna just have to use regular tape and just hope for the best. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. I got my labels now. Had to. Wow, I'm so out of breath. Okay, so I'm gonna get my books that I have put in the box. Crazy how the two books that I'm putting in the box I barely ever read. So money down the drain, but like it is what it is. I'm gonna show you all the books that I have. Let's go up. These almost fell. These are the two books I have to take. These two books I barely ever read. So that. That all of these are from one class. All of these books. This is from my creative writing class. This is from my Italian society class. And my other two classes I didn't need textbooks in. Cause thank God, cause look at all these freaking books. Seven books for one class. God love being an English major, right? Here is a life hack for you future college people or you already college people. If you go and buy books like online, 
save the boxes that you got the books in so that way when you ship them you already have a box you don't have to worry about paying for a box and then ship it back because you already have a box i've just put this in the back of my closet for the entire semester and now i get to use it because i have to use it to ship it back so i'm gonna do that right now i'd say it's pretty solid that's not my address by the way well, it's pretty solid, right? I think so. Oh, oh lord, that scared me. Okay, it's 638. I have to go put my clothes in the dryer and I have to also wash dishes real quick. I have like 13 minutes to do all that. Do I have 13 minutes? 17 minutes. Yes, yeah, so I don't have much time. So let me just, this is done. Let me just clean up real quick. I don't know why I'm doing that, okay. So these are all my clothes that I'm packing for my winter break. It took me a lot. I didn't take, oh, I didn't, nope. Okay, I'm lying. So that's all of my regular clothes. I did not pack any of my gym clothes. So I'm gonna have to pack those, but I left some clothes here. Those are just clothes I don't really wear. These are more of the clothes that I wear like on a daily basis. So I thought, why not just take them with me? And I'm really sad because I'm leaving my jacket, that little puffy jacket over there. And I'm very sad to leave it because I really like it, but I really don't feel like packing it in my suitcase because I didn't bring my big one. So I'm gonna leave her here. So now I'm just gonna have to, well, first I gotta get my gym clothes out. Then I gotta pack all this into my suitcase and my duffel bag and whatever else I need to pack it in. So yeah, let's just get that done. Okay, okay. Okay, let's put all my weight on this thing, sheesh. Okay, so I just put all my pants in this and I just put all my everything else in there. It was, as you can tell, a hard thing to do, but I did it. So I still probably have some more packing to do, but I am tired. Not even tired, I'm just high. It's high in this room, but I had to defrost my fridge. I haven't done that yet and I leave tomorrow. So I have to put a towel under there, empty out the fridge. I have to throw the garbage, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And I also have to take my succulent with me because if I don't, she's gonna die. Like I know it for a fact. So I'm gonna have to take her with me, which I'm a little bit upset about.
I am exhausted. It's 2.34. I just came back from my final and picking up my final because I got lost going to the building. I went to the wrong building and I got lost. So I had to leave to go to my final and I had to come back and I found his room. So I got my final. If it's 2.34, I'm going to catch the 3.30 bus because I still have to pack my last minute things which won't take that long, but I just don't feel like rushing to take the three o'clock bus because no, it's just, I just, I'm tired. I need to eat and I'm tired. So I'm gonna pack my last minute stuff. I already did my makeup, it's just my eyebrows and mascara. So I'm going to now pack my last minute stuff, eat some breakfast because I am hungry, and then I'ma just go home. Oh yeah, I also returned my books already. They're all gone. Over there it's empty. I got rid of all of them books. And one of them has water damage apparently, so I don't know if I have to pay for that. I really hope I don't, because if I do, that's gonna suck. So. Let's hope we don't have to pay for it. Alright. 